Hello everyone, my name is Joseph Zabrowski. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to get the best possible audio for whatever video that you create. Whether you, you're creating a video for YouTube, for television, for the silver screen, I'm going to show you how to do it by using the most important tool in one of the best editing programs out there called Final Cut Pro. Now the first thing, now I'm, I'm, I'm delivering this video to people who work online uh, so that you can have better tools uh, and create better content. I'm also delivering this video to editors who use Final Cut Pro. So if you don't have Final Cut Pro, this is a, an amazing tool to have for your tool belt. It costs around $300 or so, but you know it's worth it in the long run. If, you, if, you, if you're serious about making a living online or editing, you're going to need something like this. So to try the trial for 30 days, uh, type up Final Cut Pro trial into Google, and then you'll just click on um, the first entry and you can get the 30-day trial here just sign up for it and download the free trial and you're good to go okay so once you have it on your computer you can then just click into it and I, now I'm going to show you how to use this tool and this tool is called the limiter it is the most important tool in your audio section of Final Cut Pro so what I'm going to do here is um, you know I'm going to bring a clip into Final Cut, Cut Pro this is a clip and for example let's say I'll choose this clip so I'll just put my cursor over the part where I want to edit I'll click it and as you can see the line comes up and I'll push on I on my keyboard and that's my end point I'll then want the uh, come out of this clip right here so I'm gonna click on it and the, as you can see the line comes up and I'll click O on my keyboard and that's my out point I will then place my cursor over that segment and you can see the hand. The hand tells you that that clip is ready to be dragged onto the timeline. So I will simply click on that clip and I will drag it over to the timeline just like that. Now, you're going to listen to this audio and you're going to see that it's very low, okay? Number one, you can get into this business for one dollar, okay? You can test drive it for one dollar and you have a four very low because a lot of times uh, I and other people when I create a video I'll just talk into my Mac computer and the audio is not optimal okay but I can change this audio pretty dramatically by using this tool okay now since our application is for YouTube um, this is an application where I will bring the audio levels up as high as I can possibly bring them up because people who are going to be listening to this video are going to have different types of computers and they're going to vary so from computer to computer so I want my audio to be as high as possible without clipping okay our audio meter is over here and basically we want our audio right now watch this meter as I play the audio 14 day money back guarantee so if during the, during the test, test drive you decide it's not for you, you can get your one dollar. As you can see, the levels are fairly low. Okay, I'm gonna bring in my limiter. I'm gonna I'm gonna make my settings negative three. For some of you, that's gonna seem awfully high, but since this is for YouTube, it's not too high. It's it's you can I could actually go higher and be good. Uh, since this since this audio is very low. Um, I'm going to set it to negative three. I could probably go negative one and still be good because, as you saw, the audio is really low. And what it's probably going to do is the meters are going to probably bring me somewhere between negative 12 and negative six. But ideally, I'd like to have it around negative three. So I could either add a, a gain filter to this or I could just set my limiter to a um, higher level. I'm just going to use negative three in this case and I'm going to show you how to do that, okay? Now, all you're going to do is click on the clip. Watch, this is the beauty of this program. It's, this program is just like being a little kid and you just get to play. It's so cool. So I click on the clip and I see a yellow perimeter that tells me that clip is ready. I can drag something onto it. So I'm going to go over here to my um, tool effects box over here and I'm going to click on this item right here. And this is the effects browser. And over on the left it says... Uh, at the top it says video and it says audio. I'm going to click on audio and then I'm going to click on levels right here. Levels. Okay. And when I click on levels, I'm going to come to the area that says logic. I'm going to scroll down to the limiter. Okay. This is the limiter. Because this clip is already selected, remember I selected it. Now all I have to do is double click limiter. And when I double click on limiter, you're going to see it pop up here. In the top panel right around here okay so watch I'm gonna double click on it 
and there it is okay so I just dragged this limiter onto this clip just by double clicking it so this clip now has limiter on it and now I'm gonna set the levels of the limiter so why don't to do that I'm gonna click this little box right here okay this box is going to come up and I'm gonna set my output levels to negative three I'm gonna double click on the zero and punch in negative three and hit enter okay now keep your eye on on this clip here in the timeline you have your audio right down here that's the wave form right there and you're gonna see this waveform increase I'm gonna tell you when it's going to increase I just set the output level to negative three so it probably went down a little bit now the um, release or the soft knee I'm gonna put soft knee on soft knee is is what that is is um, like if I were going from one audio clip to another audio clip the soft knee would make that transition from one clip to the other it would make it as smooth as possible if I had one clip that was higher level than the then the second clip it would make the transition as smooth as possible so I'll keep soft knee on and I'll take the release I'll set the release at um, 220 so I'm gonna double click on the two I'm gonna put 220 in there and I'll hit enter I find that's the best level for the release I'm gonna leave the look ahead um, at 2 and then I went here's the gain now this is where when I change the gain this level you're gonna see this waveform go up dramatically okay now a lot of you might say wow he's gonna I'm gonna put this to 18 that seems pretty <laughs> if I were editing a movie or you know something for television I would have recorded the audio in a much better way it would have been a higher quality audio so I wouldn't have to raise this to negative 18 usually for something in that format I would raise it to about 10 but since this is something I, I recorded on my Mac computer I just talked into my computer it was really low as I showed you up front I'm gonna set this to 18 okay now when I set this to 18 you're gonna see this level waveform go up really high watch it okay so I'm gonna go 18 and I'm gonna hit enter watch it raise see that raise all your levels went all your low levels went to as high as they could possibly be within the 18 okay and all the high levels went to an optimal level to the most optimal level all right so now I'm gonna to listen to the audio all right you're gonna notice a difference or back okay just as long as it's within 14 days and I can tell you guys to make a to make a living online with the vast majority of these business market difference I know you heard the difference there okay now usually for something online you're recording it in not the best fashion and as you can see over here on the right you have equalization now you, the drop down menu you click on the arrow and usually what I like to do to get the best audio for online is I like to give it a little bass boost that's gonna give it a more fullness it's gonna sound like a, a fuller sound and it's gonna sound more qualitative so I'll very simply I'll just go over here and I'll click on bass boost and the levels are gonna go down a little I, you probably didn't see that but they went down a little, a little. so I'm gonna increase this to as the highest value that it can go to I'm gonna click the gain to 20 as high as it can go but because it was recorded so low it's not gonna matter we're gonna be fine and you're gonna notice a little difference in the sound it's gonna sound fuller here I'm gonna play it for you businesses you're not gonna find something much better than that and this is your best bet I'm speaking that's a pretty good sound for just recording it into your computer talking into your computer now see what this tool does this limiter the reason this is a life-saving tool believe me when I edited my movie, I, I just completed a movie, and actually our movie got worldwide distribution, it was on television, and this tool is just was so valuable, because what it does is, you know, like I told you up front, I set this level as high as I could to 20, but it's not going to make it up to the negative 3 here, it's only going to make it to somewhere in here okay but what it does is it keeps your audio consistent from beginning to end it will go no higher than a certain level now watch the meter over here okay I'm gonna hit play from experience one of your best bets at making a good living online there's other businesses online as well I'm just being honest you know but many of them are scams many of them see how it just stays in between there consistently that is really important to have good audio because one of the problems with bad audio is you'll have really highs and really lows this keeps it consistent and this makes it pleasant to your viewers ear that's the beauty of this tool it's the most important tool uh, in terms of audio in Final Cut so in summary um, 
that's basically it. We took all of our low levels and we brought them up as high as possible. Uh, we took our highest levels and brought them to the optimal level. Now if I wanted to bring this to negative 3 as I said previously I could add some gain. I could bring in a gain filter like this one right here and increase the levels or I could very simply just raise this level right here. I could just drag this up. I wouldn't do it though after the limiter. I might. My sound, the sound, it sounds good enough as it is but if I dragged it up uh, many of them are fly-by-nighter. See it's clipping. We don't want it to clip. We know it's going to clip because we got some red here in the waveform. I definitely wouldn't want to do that. I'm just going to keep it at zero. It sounded pretty good. This is a really good chance because you got newbies making. But I could bring this up to say. Five. Good money in this business. Now, one of the reasons this business is successful is because it has something very unique. It has million dollar online earners who are your coach. See, now that's getting me to about negative three, but you see, it's keeping it consistent. It's keeping that level consistent the whole time, and it's not clipping past zero. You never want your audio to go past zero, or it's going to distort and it's going to it's going to screw up your whole gig. So. Um, you know, I could go higher like that. What the what the limiter allowed me to do is to keep my levels consistent. As you saw there, they were higher, but they were consistent all the way through. So that is about it. Now, hey, you guys, um, I do an online I do online businesses, and I use online businesses. If you're an editor, I use these online businesses to fund my movie making. And like for example, the last movie that I made, um, I while I was making those movies, I had an online business that I worked in a for, I worked part-time and I was able to make a full-time income and able to really do the thing that I really want to do in my heart which was to make movies so if you're an editor this could be something that you're interested in um, I'll leave a link below this video two links actually I have a link for the best one of the hottest digitally based businesses online you can make really good money in it and I'll have a link for a product based business where you can make big money in it as well so I'll put those two links below the video the first one's called seriouslivingonline.com the second one is longtermwealthonline.com um, to people who are online money makers uh, if you're watching this video if you don't have a good business these two businesses believe me through experience I, I I stay abreast on what's the best and these two businesses are the best in terms of having a good digital business and uh, product based business so I'll put those links below and I hope to meet you I'll help you be successful online and I'll help you with your editing but this you guys this is a great tool Final Cut Pro highly recommend it if you have any questions let me know and I hope to meet you take care and God bless